Hello to everyone. Thanks um, once again also for the opportunity here to talk to you. And uh, it's about AI, it's about the problems, the upcoming problems of AI. And uh, so we finished this month the AI Act. And uh, we have seen in all our negotiations and discussions that there are some leftovers, especially, um, of course, to fill the AI Act with life. But also when we talked about generative AI, and the so-called foundational models, um, etc. So there we have seen that there is a kind of a big problem still lying ahead of for us. So that's why um, if I have, or when I had seen five years ago the situation about the copyright or creative sector and the normal social media platforms and big massive upload platforms, there has been an imbalance after long, long years of not doing here something. This is what I had in mind when I um, try to invite now the creative sector and also the AI developers together to have a kind of an exchange at the first time on the 15th of April for um, trying to figure out what problems are on both sides. Um, of course, the copyright problem has been already discussed in a way five years ago, but now we have a new technology in place and there once again this problem occurs once again. And there we should wait for the imbalance situation. And it's not only what we have in mind with music and movies and also in, in written form authors performers, also newspapers, so what we are saying are neighboring rights or relevant to copyrights. This is something what we should have in mind because everything now can be done in seconds by robots. That's why we need to solve here the problem, not only for the press publishers, but also for the whole creative sector. The um, What I still have in mind is that we have on the 15th of April the kind of a kick-off um, event in trying to find out what are the problems for the creative sector in every sector of the creative sector and also then trying also to talk to the AI developers how they are seeing this and what problems they might have in um, we are fulfilling the aspect or the obligation of copyright. And of course, what personally I have in mind is at first, um, technology can't, um, yeah, can't just ignore uh, existing laws, even if there is a new technology in place. And on the other hand, we should also have in mind that existing laws are should not hindering yeah, new tech, new developments or new um, technology and so on. So, therefore, we need a kind of a balance here. And this is why I think we have actually to try to find at the end a pragmatic solution. But um, if this is then necessary, also it should be somehow legally um, binding in a way. But at first, it's necessary to have a kind of a pragmatic solution for both sides. And uh, that's why we need these ideas, what is feasible on the technology, what, what can be done, what um, might be a kind of a problem. If we are thinking about to respect copyright from the beginning, it might be uh, critical to the um, developer AI side uh, to say, oh, what is copyright protected? How we can detect these by machines? What, uh, who is behind the copyright? Uh, who's the copyright holder? And um, that's why there might occur kind of a, a problem how to do this uh, tech, yeah, driven by technology, machine readable, 